It's time to come home. I'm not sure if I can. I've been undercover so long. I've forgotten who I am. I've seen terrible things. I haven't known the touch of a woman in many moons. Sorry. Detective Santiago! Lay off the captain. That man is gonna be my rabbi. Okay, first of all, when you use the word rabbi, you know that turns me on, and that's unfair in the work environment. I say piss off Holt, so we get to watch your career end right in front of us. Okay, thank you for that, Santiago. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. How are you today? I am Detective Right all the time, and this is my partner, Detective Terrible Detective. You look great. They might not be the same as the ones who stole them. Here, switch seats with me. Oh, wow. Your butt's really warm. My butt's normal. Your butt's the weird one. Don't be mad. It's nice. Amy loses. Amy Santiago, you have made me the happiest man on earth. I spent one whole dollar on this ring. Will you go on the worst date ever with me? You have to say yes. Yes. Happy. Oh, yeah. You look like every girl at every bat mitzvah I ever had a crush on. Let's see the bow. <laughs> Just like Jenny Gildenhorn. Why do I wish you had braces? Oh, and there is one more rule. No matter what happens, you're not allowed to fall in love with me. Won't be a problem. Do this mini! I hate your guts! Channel that passion into the dance! Thus began the debt. Crushing debt. You do know me. No. Only if you throw it. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Nice. Ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> I have to admit, I do love a thorough vacuumer. I'm a little OCD. What? No, you're not. Hmm? I can leave it there. Totally. It doesn't bother me. I know. There it is. Why do you even care if I leave? Because the vulture is the worst. That whole division is the worst. They steal cases. It's the lowest of the low. So if I transferred somewhere else, you wouldn't care at all? No, of course not. Do whatever you want, you know? Your life. You're a great detective, and they'd be lucky to have you. In fact, if it helps, I wrote you a letter of recommendation, which is riddled with spelling errors, I might add, including the word recommendation, which is just, I don't have to tell you about that. There's no way there's four M's in that word, right? I already turned down the job. Seriously? In the end, you were right. I don't want to sit at a desk. And right now, I like where I am. Ah. <laughs> but thanks for thinking I'm great. No, I take back all the things I just said. Uh-uh, you said I was a good detective and you were nice. This is my nightmare. You're dating Teddy and it's going really well. It's just... What's going on? I don't know what's gonna happen on this assignment and if something bad goes down, I think I'd be pissed at myself if I didn't say this. <sighs> I kind of wish something could happen between us. Romantic styles. And I know it can't, because you're with Teddy, and I'm going undercover, and that's just how it is, but. Anyway, we're not supposed to have any contact, so I should go. America needs me. <laughs> Bye. I know we left things kind of weird. You know, me saying that I liked you. And... I'm still with Teddy. Romantic styles. Oh, good. Good, because I was going to say, I know we left things weird because I said that I liked you, but that was a mistake. You know, I was nervous about going undercover and I think I just kind of freaked out and you were nearby, so I didn't mean it. But that's great. Good. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Maybe Teddy and I should take a class. Yeah, mm. pregnant. Nice. Means you had sex. Damn right I did. And I forgot my birth control. Yeah. yeah. Let me be pregnant. Whoop. Adorable. Right? I can't believe I lost again. I was so psyched up for this. What happened? Well, maybe being so psyched up is what happened. Like, every time we're doing police work, you're always super smart and you stay calm and take your time. But every time we do dumb games like this, you get all frantic and act like a crazy idiot. My advice, next time, 
Don't act like a crazy idiot. Thanks. That's surprisingly insightful. Yeah, well, motherhood really opens a man's eyes. Oh, hey, I hope this is cool with you, but since we're not technically on duty till tomorrow morning, I invited Sophia to join me upstate. The B&B we're staying at looks really nice. It's almost like it's haunted by fancy ghosts. I don't mind at all. It's actually really cute of you. Teddy's never done anything that spontaneous or romantic. That's not fair. He did brew me a rose-infused pilsner once, but it tasted like hand lotion and the bubbles didn't happen. Sounds bad. Not the huh. real reason there's a problem in my relationship with Amy, which is you, Jake. But uh, what now, huh? About how you told her that you liked her before you went undercover. You liked Amy? Um, I did, but that was many moons ago. Was it? Because I know for a fact you also told her when you got back. And every time you would, she would get confused, and then our relationship would get out of sync. And if you ask me, I think it's because Amy liked you back. Did you? Maybe. Yes. Clear. So, you're really okay with me and Jenny Gildenhorn, huh? Totally. Stuff with us is in the past. We talked about that. I know, but that was before you saw me in this dope-ass tux. I mean, you must be freaking out. Oh, I am. I'm really into rented clothes. I love how many butts have been in them. I know you're making fun of me, but that sexy voice is kind of getting me going. Will you, Jacob Peralta, accept this ring and bring it with me to our weird friend's parents' wedding? Yes. A thousand times yes. <gasps> That's not a big deal. She's just a girl that I've been obsessed with since I learned what love was. Well, we got the bad guy today. Thank you for helping me. And I know it's not Jenny Gildenhorn, but if you wanted to slow dance tonight, I know somebody who'd be into that. OK. Perfect. This is Gina's great aunt, Susan. Hi. She's been asking about you all night. She thinks you're very handsome, says you have a dancer's frame. Well, you have a good eye, m'lady, shall we? <laughs> we are on your side. It's just you're not the most responsible person. We have to do our job. All right, fine. You can see my bank records. But I always pay my power bill. Often late. One time in person with Canadian pennies. <laughs> oh, my God. Talking about your finances makes me sweat behind the knees. Nice. The case is over. Amy and Majors are on their way to the keychain right now. It's too late. Has she done the double tuck yet? Mm -hmm. When Amy really likes a guy, she gets nervous and tucks her hair behind both ears at the same time. <laughs> well, I can never unsee that, but no, she has not done that yet. After everything that happened with Teddy and all the cops I know who go out and break up and then still have to work together, it's just too messy. I got a new rule. I don't date cops. Cool. Cool, yeah. Actually, that's funny. I have the same rule. No more cops. From this point on, it's strictly dating criminals. <laughs> If you break up with them, you can always send them to jail forever. Exactly. Nice and clean. Mm -hmm. so. Hey, I got an email from the commissioner's office about our case. What'd they say? <laughs> ah! Ah! You got me with my thing. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh! All right, <sighs> let's go. No, wait. We look like cops. We're never going to blend in dressed like this. Um. Okay, there. How's, how's that? Uh, uh, I don't know. All I see is clothes hanging off of a genderless blob. You look fine. Table for two, please. I'm so sorry. There's nothing available. We're totally booked up. <sighs> oh, no, that's horrible. Tonight's a really important night for us. Johnny and I just got engaged, and this is where our first date was. Oh, yeah, it would mean so much to Dora and me. I would have made a reservation, but I didn't know if she was going to say yes. Oh, I love how nervous you were, you little goose. <laughs> you were just so sweet together. So, how did you know she was the one? Oh, I'd love to answer that. Um, you know, just whenever I look at her face and the attached physique. And you? Uh... He makes me laugh. And, you know, there's really no one else's opinion who I care about more than hers, so. Look, there's the buyer. Or maybe he's just actually saying hi to the chef. Why isn't he making the handoff? Oh, crap. He saw us. Uh... Excuse me. Oh. Hey. We were just looking for a place to, uh... Boink. Yep. Boink. That's my preferred term for it as well. Mm -hmm. I get it. Newly engaged kids. 
Enjoy. Thanks. Good. Good, 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 good. Kept our cover intact. Nice work. Quick professional thinking out there. Very quick. Very professional. Detective? Detective. Let's get back on the case. Hey, seriously, we're cool, right? Yeah, totally. We're fine. Good. Gosh, you know, I'm actually a little bit hungry. I never ended up eating at that dumb, fancy restaurant. Know what I'm getting on my way home? Yeah, you're gonna go to the Polish place and get pierogies, potato pancakes, and a cup of hot chocolate. That's exactly what I'm gonna get. Yeah. So how you holding up? I don't know. I'm still in shock. You? Uh, I'm basically handling it the way I dealt with my dad leaving. Just repressing the hell out of it. <laughs> so a lot of change around here, huh? start dating and it makes things weird at work. So let's just keep it light and breezy, see where it goes. Totally, yeah. So how do we keep it light and breezy? Six drink Amy, what does that mean? It's the pinnacle of the Santiago drunkenness scale. One drink, Amy's a little <laughs> spacey. Wait, what? Two drinks, loud Amy. You wanna get a cab? Three drinks, Amy dance pants. Four drink Amy is a bit of a pervert. Hey, check it out. Let's just get super drunk. Yes, great idea. Pardon me, ma'am. Could you please bring us four kamikaze shots? And four for me as well. Ah, I like your style. See, we can do this. We're back on track. We're keeping it light and breezy. So, we broke a rule. All right, so what do I do? Tell me. Easy. You march over there, you tell her how you feel, and you bring a fancy bottle of lavender shampoo because shampooing a woman's head is the most erotic thing you could ever No, possibly. no, no shampoo. That's the worst. But I am gonna go over there. I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Yeah, you go get her. No! Wait till it starts raining. No, that's crazy. Go now. Okay. Ah! Sorry! Sorry. That's okay. I was home, and I really wanted to talk to someone about us and Dozerman and about Hope being gone and then I realized that the only person I want to talk about that stuff with is you. So, screw just being colleagues and screw light and breezy, right? Definitely. Captain Holt is here today. Yes, genius! He loves us and he's got tons of sway in the department. He'll tell the Vulture to back down. Yeah, he'll be all, Vulture, I must insist that you desist. I really think this is gonna work. Also, if you ever want to bust out that Holt impression at home, I'd be okay with that. Oh, okay. Duly noted, super disturbing, but I'm definitely gonna do it. She gave me the sticker this morning just for waking up. Ew, it's like you're dating your teacher. I know, it's so hot. Hey. Hey. So I marked all the corners where taxi has been spotted on this map. You'll probably notice right away that it makes the shape of a boob. This looks great. Confirms Devin's story. He says his dealer hangs out here in the under boob. He said he'll point him out to us. So you approach on foot from the south and me and Devin will be in an unmarked car here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Me and Devin? Didn't you mean Devin and I? Oh, God. I corrected your grammar. <gasps> Are you so proud of me? Are you horrified? Are you super horny? I think it's cute. You're like an idealistic grad student. Ah, uh, you like that? You want me to tell you about the time that I backpacked through the Netherlands? Ooh, did you fold all your stuff up really small to fit into one carry-on? Is that what you want me to have done? You want to make him feel less lonely? Uh, this is how you do it. A case file? Yeah, dude loves work. I thought all your cases were closed. You were bragging about it so much last night, I couldn't hear the end of the neighbor's fight. It ended in sex. It always does. It didn't make me horny. It's a cold case. Thank God you were there, Peralta. I know you wouldn't let your best friend die. I'm still gonna arrest you. I just can't do that if you're dead. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Baby steps. It's hard getting him out of his shell. <sighs> tell me about it. Every time we get emotional, he's like, noise, smart. Okay, can we focus up here? On in the rain. <laughs> You are looking good. Really? I kind of feel like I'm Jimmy Buffett's tennis coach. No, it's working. You know I had a major crush on Magnum P.I. Major. Oh, should I grow a mustache? Yeah, you should. Thank you for doing this. I love you. Noise. Smart. I love you too. All right, what I am about to say will make you very horny, but you have to try and remember that we're still at work. Do you want me to quiz you? Oh, God, yes. 
Wow. Okay, great. Holt hasn't seen Kevin in like months. And I was just thinking if that was me and you, it would make me really sad. Oh. That's actually super sweet. Plus, there's this big fat binder full of instructions and rules. <gasps> there's a binder? Why didn't you lead with that, you idiot? <sighs> I'm gonna just leave you two alone. Okay. If you say it can't be used against you in a court of law, you have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Why did you stop? I'm done, you win. What? I love you. I wanna move into your apartment. Really? I love you too. Oh my God, what a beautiful moment. And you guys, Amy's ovulating as we speak. What? Charles! I don't get it. Why did you decide to let me win? I don't know. When we were back there racing through the Miranda rights, I just looked over at you and thought, you're awesome, and you're good at doing things. I mean, sure, I'll miss Towel, but your happiness is worth way more than winning some stupid bet. Are you sure about this? Oh, yeah. Your apartment is better than mine in every way imaginable. You want to know what my first thought was when we dropped into the sewer? Huh? Smells like home. Oh. He's lying, Amy. His first thought was about the Ninja Turtles. Come on, Terry, we were in a sewer. He's guns to think about the turtles. Yeah, I'm guns to Terry. Quit being such a Malfoy. Yeah, Terry. Things are so good right now. I don't want to screw that up by getting transferred or becoming your boss. Ames, I've always known you were going to be my boss. I mean, this is your dream from before we were dating. And yeah, things might change a little, but for the better, right? You can finally get premium cable, check out all those shows on epics. <laughs> Look, you can't be afraid to be successful. You're too good for that. I love you. Love you too. What else? Oh, you're never gonna believe this. I've been reading. Reading? Like books? By real authors? I don't know. Is Philip Roth a real author? Oh, my goodness. I wish you had gone to prison years ago. I'm kidding. Obviously, I'm not more attracted to you now than before. <laughs> Look, there are three tramps. The only way we're gonna win is if we team up. Good point. I guess my response is, rotten hell, crap face! <gasps> also, I love you and I treasure you, and you bore me. God, you're being so mean. Do it more. I hope you die. <gasps> Bye. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening right now. Title your sex tape. <sighs> oh my god, I'm shaking. I'm definitely gonna cry. Title of your sex tape. Wait, is this really happening? Is this part of the heist? If this is part of the heist, I will dump you so hard. No, please, Ames. Hey, like... Well, there's not much to tell other than it's a gorgeous mansion. Big old house. With a professional kitchen. Chop, chop, y'all. A private library for the ceremony. My girl loves books. Seven bathrooms. No lines, ladies. And an outdoor reception area. Oh, can I get a gazebo? Chewy, 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 chewy. I apologize to a host of communities. The point is, these nuptials are going to be toys. Speaking of toy nups, we better get going because we don't have a lot of time and we have to meet with 17 wedding vendors. A jam-packed schedule that could only be achieved by a type A personality. Jane. Yep, we gotta go. Could we wrap the flowers in New York Times crossword puzzles from key dates in our lives? Oh, is that something you'd like? Uh, boy, oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Here's the deposit. A Nakatomi Plaza cake? The groom is on a licorice hose. Welcome to the wedding, pal. Oh, Amy, these nups may be getting too toit. When did you decide to propose? Oh. Uh, well, we were just hanging out one night, and I looked over at Amy, and it hit me. She's incredible, and my best friend, and I just knew in that moment I wanted to spend my life with her. Fine, I'll open it. No! 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 Do it harder. I am. What's going on, Jake? In one week, you will officially become a sergeant, which means this case will be the last one we ever work together as detectives, so it has to be perfect. I present to you a serial arson case. Mm -hmm. And the fires seem to be connected to the Saturday crossword puzzle. Mama like. Two different buildings, two consecutive Saturdays, and a puzzle left at each crime scene, and a note was sent to the puzzle's author, Mr. Melvin Sturmley. Melvin Sturmley? He's the best in the game! He made a puzzle once where all the answers were just the word puzzle in different languages. In Estonian, it was moistatis. Yeah, well, your moistatis is about to be hecka moist. Don't call HR, we are getting married, because Melvin Sturmley is coming in to help us with the case. Showing! We are officially transitioning from the month of Binder to... Week of Binder. My goodness, they're getting bigger. You should see the honeymoon binder. Ooh, is there a tab for sex stuff? Several, and they're cascading. Yeah, they are. I've been planning this wedding for the last six months, and if you told me yesterday everything that was gonna go wrong, I would have had a panic attack that sent me into the ER. But I'm here, and I've never been happier. Life is unpredictable.
Not everything's in our control, but as long as you're with the right people, you can handle anything. And you, Jake Peralta, are the right person for me. But I do have some bad news. There is a bomb at this wedding as well. What? Your butt. Your butt is the bomb. There will be no survivors. I love you so much. You're my dream girl. I love you too. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Ring bearer, please bring the rings. But I thought Cheddar was sick. Oh my God. You got the robot. There's a robot at my wedding. Yeah, I felt bad about how everything went down today, so I offered to help. Oh, that's nice. Also, are you guys doing the thing where someone gets to object to this union, or is that later? We're not doing that. You've outsmarted me. Congratulations. OK, moving on. Do you, Amy Santiago, take Jake Peralta to be your husband? I do. And do you, Jake Peralta, take Amy Santiago to be your wife? I absolutely do. By the power vested in me by the state of New York, I'd like to announce that your honeymoon vacation request status has officially been moved from pending to approved. You're married. You may kiss the bride. Yeah!